Are you sure my books aren't too heavy for you? I can carry them if you want me to. Oh, it's okay. For you, nothing is too heavy. Let's go to class. Jenna, Denise, stop holding hands in the hallway. This is a school, not in the park. I'm sorry. Sorry, Madam Sulei. Uh, we were just on our way to class. Yes, we were. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. It's okay. She won't see us here. Yes, not now. Madam Subin, I didn't bring my calculator today. Do you have an extra one? Why bother coming to school if you're not going to bring the things that you need, Juhi? Uh, fine, it's okay. You can use mine. But if you forget to bring yours tomorrow, then don't bother bringing yourself to school. Okay, thanks, Madam Subin. It won't happen again. Um, by the way, I forgot to bring my textbook. If you could just take it. Thank you. You're not gonna like this, but if you just have her. If you know what's good for your child, then you're not going to bother finishing that sentence. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna go back to my seat. Yeah. Trev, is everything okay? Oh, Madison Big, you notice. Well, it's hard not to notice when the homework that you handed up to me is completely soaked in tears. And did I mention incomplete? Madison Big, it's hard to hold in my tears. The love of my life. My pillar of support just left me at the worst possible time. How am I supposed to move on? <laughs> hey, Trev. I know you're going through a hard time, but did I hear correctly that you and Abby broke up? Thanks for your concern, Kevin. It's true. Abby and I broke out on the island. But I really appreciate you for coming here to show me that you are. Hey, I heard you're single and available right now. Kevin? I don't know. Single? Yes. Available? Not right now. I still need time to move on. Well, lucky for you, I got all the time in the world. Don't do that, Kevin. Oh, sorry. Too soon? <laughs> All right, class, I'll be collecting the homework that I gave out yesterday. I'm assuming you didn't do your homework again, Vincent. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll just tell her my dog and my homework. <laughs> Works all the time. Foolproof plan. Man, I'm so big. My dog ate my homework. Enough! Enough of this dog ate my homework thing. What year is it? Do you think I'm an idiot? Even back in my days, my teachers didn't believe it. What makes you think it's gonna work this time, huh? Detention for you, Trev. <laughs> What about you, Vincent? Yeah, you know, Madam Subin, I would totally love to give you my homework. But you see, I worked so hard on it, and it started raining really, really heavily on my way to school, and, and um, um, lightning! Lightning struck! Lightning struck! Uh, not on me, not on me, but on my back. And specifically, on the homework you gave yesterday. So, I did all that hard work for nothing. <laughs> for nothing! <laughs> wow, that's good. It's good. Creative, huh? Realistic, huh? Let's see what you come up with tomorrow. Same handwriting. That's kind of sus. Jian Hao Tan. Yes, yes, Madam Su Bing. This is not your handwriting. This is Denise's handwriting. Denise, do you do all this homework for him? No. Are you sure? Yes. Which is it? Tell me the truth! Alright, I admit it. It was me. I did Denise's homework. You expect me to believe that you wrote all of this, including Hot JH? Yeah, you see, um, about that, self love is the best kind of love. Ah, okay, whatever. Just make sure you doesn't feel this year. So we'll be moving on to situational context and by its name, you're probably... Ben, please wake up. Ben, wake up! Wake up now!
<laughs> Yo bro, watch how the pros do it. I'm gonna go to the toilet and take a nap. Madam Sud Bing, can I go to the toilet please? I got a really bad stomach ache and I really can't hold it any longer. Alright, you have five minutes. <laughs> See ya. down I put you away. Oh, okay. <laughs> <coughs> so after school today, you wanna get some ice cream or something? Throw you? Yeah. I'm gonna clean and I throw you. I'm like a brain freeze. Ice cream for ice cream. Da, 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 da. Vincent, can you stop being a clown? <laughs> clown? <laughs> I'm not a clown. <laughs> That's a clown. <laughs> Dude, you hired a clown just for that joke? <laughs> and it only cost me 500 bucks. Totally worth it! <laughs> Speak, speaking of which, uh, you got 500 bucks? You got 500 bucks? Any of you? Guys? Please? We're going to go through those set of questions right now. First of all, why do you think the author expected them to give him a stern look when he fell off? Madam Sudbang, I can't focus. Chanel and Denise are being super distracting. Dear now, Denise, I think it's time you packed up your things and moved to the back of the class. Okay, okay. I, I've never been to the back of the class. It's, it's not much difference. It's actually more fun there. I, I don't think I can do this. No! It's so dark, it's so cold, we can barely even hear the teacher. Why would this place even exist? Relax, it'll be fine. It's just the back of the class. You'll get used to it. Hi there. Do I know you? Have I seen you before? I've been here for years. I too used to sit in front, but ever since I got sent to the black of the class, nothing has ever been the same. Uh, uh. Hey Peter, here we go, here's the lunch. Thanks bro. I haven't had this in a while. But you kind of got to remove the plastic before you eat it. Bro, I think this is expired. Nah, don't worry about it. Best before, better after. I'll just sit here so you don't get too lonely, okay? Sure, Maddie. Thanks for the company. By the way, can I see your work? Because I don't actually know what I've been writing for the past five minutes. Maddie, are you okay? If you're not feeling well, just go home. Yeah, Madam Su I'm fine. Alright, just checking. I'm gonna take this outside. Hello? This is Madeline's mother. I just wanna ask, why does my sick daughter keep going to school even though when she's not feeling well? What kind of pressure are the teachers putting on her? No one is making her stay in school if she's not feeling well. Then tell me, why does Maddie keep insisting she needs to go to school? I don't know, but if she's not feeling well, then she shouldn't be in school. You know, Maddie, I don't get it. Why do you always refuse to miss a day of school? It's not like there's anything worth seeing here. Well, there is one thing. Or someone. Someone? <gasps> Maddie, can you please just go home? I don't want to have to deal with your mom. But, Madam Subin, I don't want to miss any of your class. Okay, then can you please just tell your mom to. I'll be right back, kids. Mm. 
Debbie, you usually come to me during recess to share with me a cookie. I didn't see you today. Do you get lost again? Ben, I'm not talking to you. What do you mean? In case you forgot, after embarrassing Debbie, she wants nothing to do with you. You're dead to her. You're just kidding, right? Right, Debbie? Right? Ben! Is this a fish market? Why are you walking around my classroom? I just want to clarify something with Debbie. If you don't return to your seat in the next five seconds, then Debbie's not going to be the only one that thinks that you're dead to her. But when is it being? Five! Four! Okay, maybe, um... Debbie, would you like to answer this question? Uh, um, uh, 54? No, that's the completely wrong answer. Would you like to try it again? Uh, the definition, um, is the difference of speed over time? No, once again, you got it wrong. I'm going to give you one last try. According to Newton's first law, when a body is at rest or keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless it is acted upon by force. In fact, in classical Newtonian mechanics, there's no important distinction between rest and uniform motion in a straight line. They may be regarded as the same state of motion seen by different observers, one moving at the same velocity as the particle and the other moving at constant velocity with respect to the particle. This postulate is known as the law of inertia. Wow, Debbie, that's possibly one of the best explanations I've ever heard of Newton's first law. But the question is on the board, what is the capital of France? It's easy, it's croissant. Or is it baguette? 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 Ah. Potato, tomato, ciabatta. Uh, isn't the capital of France F? We're gonna fast forward to chapter 8 of your textbook right now. Yes, Emily, what is it? This isn't your class. I just want to talk to Debbie. She's look really sad. Go back to your class now. You can talk to her after school, okay? Capital. Yes, Emily, what is it this time? Maybe I just talked to her for a little while. How many times have I told you not doing my... Where did she go? <sighs> it's okay, Debbie. There are so many guys out there. Who is this Ben anyway? <gasps> so handsome? And I mean you, I mean you. Emily, you can't come into my class just to have a conversation. Go back to your class now. Okay, sorry. Let's go, Debbie. Wait, you can't break Debbie. <sighs> Renny Xiang, come up here. Look, I'm glad that you did your homework and all, but I can't understand a single thing that you wrote. Huh? Uh, people say that my handwriting is like a doctor's handwriting and doctor's kind of smart. So that makes me kind of smart, right? <laughs> Okay, then can you tell me if this is a B or a D? Hmm, well, that's actually the Chinese word Huang Si. <sighs> Go back to your seat, Ren Yixiang. That's Dr. Ren Yixiang to you. Thank you, teacher. Vicky, can you come up here, please? What did I do wrong now? What's up with your handwriting? I expected more from my daughter. What do you mean? It's cursive handwriting. You sent me for cursive lessons expecting me to write better and now you're telling me what's up with my handwriting? I really don't know what you want from me, Mum. Oh. Okay, my bad, dear. Maybe it's time for you to get some cursive reading lessons, Mum. Alright, alright. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. She definitely got that attitude from her father, okay? Not me. Come here. Alright guys, just a reminder, there will be a comprehension test at the end of this week, so make sure you guys pay attention to today. This Good morning, Mrs. Good morning, class. Miss City, what brings you here today? Just making my rounds doing my job as a principal. Just pretend I'm not here. Okay! Let's continue from where we left off yesterday. Can everyone turn to chapter 13 of your textbooks? <coughs> what is it, Miss Siddi? Aren't you going to tell them which page you're on? Some of the students might not know. Of course. 
Thank you for your feedback, Miss Siti. Alright class, please turn to chapter 13, which is on page 59 of your textbooks. <coughs> what is it now, Miss Siti? Aren't you going to tell them what textbook you're using? Of course. And just in case you don't know which textbook we're referring to, it is the only English textbook that you've been supplied with this year. Is there anything else I can help you with, Miss Siti? Oh, please, please, just pretend I'm not here. As I was saying... Uh, Madam Subbing, that is actually the more complicated way of doing it. I was taught by my tutor of another method that is way faster and simpler. And what is the name of your tutor? Mr. Kababo. Then let me ask you, what is the name of your teacher in the Titan Academy? Uh, ma 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 Madam Subbing? Ah, so you see where I'm getting at right now? If you don't like the way Madam Subbing teaches, then maybe you should pack your bags and ask Mr. Kababo to teach you instead. If not, just take this down. <laughs> Nicole, late again? Yeah, I was stuck in traffic. You could have literally come to school with your brother. That is not a valid excuse. Mm, how about my alarm didn't go off? That's not what I meant. There is no excuse that is a valid excuse. Okay, but you got to listen to me. I got stopped by a bunch of raccoons in the school canteen. And you expect me to believe that? Shoo! 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 You don't belong here. Do you know who am I? I am Mr. Frickin... Woohoo! Dan! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! See? That was a nice nap. Okay, where's my phone? Huh? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I might have dropped it inside. No! 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 Oh, okay, this is so gross. I should have flushed it before I came in. Oh my god, most of this isn't even mine. Okay, too squishy. Oh my god, my sleeve! My sleeve! <laughs> now, first of all, why do you think the author expected them to give? What is it this time and what did I say about interrupting my class? I'm back, Madam Subbing. What happened to you, Hakim? Well, I dropped my phone in the toilet and now it's gone forever. <laughs> Whatever, just sit back down. I can't deal with this anymore. Your phone? You left it there. So uncomfortable. Why do we even need new uniforms? This tie is so tight. I mean, look at this. I can barely move my hands. Yeah, me too. I kind of miss the old uniforms. They're more comfortable. I don't know. I actually kind of like these. They're not too bad. Well, okay, back to the point. So we were like under the table, and then Diana hit her head, and then cleverly stood up, and the organization took him, and now we gotta go save him. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Why were you guys under the table? Okay, class D25. Wow, looking good, looking good in your new uniforms. <laughs> okay, students, stand up. It's time for a uniform check. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of teaching a class right now, so please don't interrupt. I hope you realize that the students in this school require more discipline. That's why I'm here to supervise. But sure. Go on, teach. Just pretend I'm not here. Yeah, Miss Shirley. Teach us. You! Why are you speaking during class? Go to the principal's office now. But no arguments. Or this will go onto your permanent record. <sighs> okay, anyway, students, uh, so let's go to chapter five where we left off previously. Sleeping in class? Stand up! Try falling asleep now. <laughs> so
So anyway, class, chapter 5 is about geography. Please take out your homework now. Alright, start peeling. With what? A spoon? Only 254 to go. Make that 354. Okay, class, so can anyone tell me which country shares the longest border of India? Jali Vishali! It's Bangladesh! Correct, Denise, thank you so much. That's exactly the answer that I'm looking for. Shali Vishali, I raise my hands fast! Silence, girl! You are being a nuisance and disrupting the class. Now go face the wall and reflect on what you've done. Go! Anyway class, so now I'm going to be showing all of you a very interesting video that I'm sure all of you will love it. Okay, TV, come on in. So how tsunami happens is when the tectonic plates under the earth shifted and that's why it happened. Miss Shirley, your student is snacking in the middle of your class. Are you going to let this type of behaviour slide? Vicky, lunchtime is over and you shouldn't be snacking during class, okay? That won't do. Fortunately, I have a mother's number here. Let me show you how it's done. I'll put it on speaker just for you. Be my guest. Hello. Hi. I'm calling to inform you that your daughter Vicky has been snacking in class. So? You mean her favourite chocolate chip cookies that are packed for her? Instead of calling parents regarding these minor infractions, how about you focus on teaching the class? Where's your badge? Who do you represent? Where's your manager? Put him on the phone! Anyway, as I was saying, so the tectonic plates under the earth. Vincent, are you paying attention in class? Are you even writing down notes? Of course, Miss Shirley, I've been taking down notes all day. <laughs> you know, they call me the notes master. <laughs> okay, then let me see that. No, you don't want to see that. Let me see it. It's okay, you can't even read my handwriting. Let me see You're... that. Vincent. Uh, no. Okay, since you like books so much, how about you carry all my books to my next class? Huh, Alright, how hard could it be? <laughs> okay, it isn't as bad. Okay, oh, okay, okay, never mind. Okay, I can do this. Okay, no, I can't do this. So, you think I make a good hall monitor? Yeah, sure, Kevin. Let's just focus on the lesson. Hmm? But how could I improve? Maybe I have a little bit too much charisma? How you can improve is to focus in class. Right, right, right. But you know, honestly speaking, maybe I have some. Come on, Kevin, let's just focus. Excuse me, why do you keep talking? <sighs> it, it wasn't me. It was him. Stand up. All right. Stand up. I'll stand up. Is that all you got? Stand up outside the classroom for the rest of the class. I'll stand outside the classroom. Is that all you got? Carry your chair with you and hold it above your head outside the classroom. You call that a punishment? Is that all you got? While balancing on one leg. <laughs> Is that all you got? On land, Volcanoes form when one tectonic plate moves under another. As I mentioned just now, tsunami happened when the tectonic plates collide. Excuse me? Miss Shirley, are you going to let your student come in like this in the middle of your class? Do something about it. Nicole, play again. Why don't you come up here and write down, I will not be late for class 50 times on the board. 
Really? In the middle of my class? Okay, class, so where are we? Miss Shirley, it's time for our next class. <sighs> oh, by the way, it's 49, not 50. Go. Just because you're the top student, it doesn't excuse you from following the rules. Go! Do you even know how to wear a tie? Go! Do you even know how to wear clothes? Go! Fix your skirt. Why is it so short? But Mrs. Ragna, it was like this when I bought it. Go to the school office and get a new one. But it's kind of my style. Now! Okay. Mm. Much better. Now go for your next class. You know, that day I didn't have enough money because I spent it all on doggy coins again but Miss Shirley was kind enough to give me some lunch coupons. I mean like, why can't all our other teachers be like that, huh? Like, especially Mr. Dan, I mean look at him. Barely anyone respects him, no one even listens to him. Like, why is he even a PE teacher? I bet he can't even be a PE student. <laughs> if Mr. Dan were to look at himself in the mirror, his reflection would probably walk away. <laughs> right. uh... Trev! <laughs> A lot of things to say about me. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We all have our opinions. <laughs> I'll see you in class. Uh, are you sure, Mr. Dana? I really didn't mean it. <laughs> hey! I can take a joke. <laughs> I'll see you in class. <gasps> okay, Mr. Dan. <laughs> it's okay, right? It's okay, right? It's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, Trev? I said something mean about Mr. Dan and he overheard it, but he said it's fine. So. Uh oh. Why? Everything is okay, right? Everything is fine, right? He said it's okay. It's okay. Your life will never ever be the same again. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? What? Ah, looks like someone was late in the last class. Can I have someone volunteer to clean the board for me? Let's see. Uh... Ah, Trev! <laughs> <gasps> me? 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 <laughs> Yes, you! Anyone else here named Trev? <laughs> or was I talking to my own reflection? <laughs> ah, perfect! <laughs> oh! I seem to have forgotten my markers. Can you help me run up to the 8th floor to get my markers for me? <laughs> oh, and did I forget to mention that the lift is only for school faculty? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Alright. I got it, Mr. Dan. <sighs> oh, yeah, Trev, I forgot. It was in my pocket the whole time. Take a seat. 
So if you turn your book to page 72, you will see that Albert Einstein came up with an amazing equation. Mr. Dan is actually Albert Einstein. Huh. Okay then, D-nice. Since you're so smart, why don't you come up here and teach the rest of the class? Come. Come. Einstein is really well known for his theory of relativity and he also made significant contributions to the theory of quantum mechanics. Relativity and quantum mechanics together forms the pillars of modern physics and he also had this mass equivalence formula E equals to mc squared. Alright Denise, you can stop now. Mr. Dan, please sit down. Okay, sorry. So, as I was saying, the mass equivalence formula E equals mc squared is actually one of the most famous equations in the world. Oi, the two of you! Since you like to be physical, I got a physical exercise for the both of you. Is this even legal? No talking! Come on, my grandma can do better than you. Or are you guys too tired? Huh? Let's go, let's go, let's keep it going, come on. When there's a will, there's a way. So have you gone out recently? No, I want to visit the new cafe. I know, it looks so nice. Yeah. Do you see the pictures? Yeah, I want to go there. Debbie, Tasha, since the both of you have so much to talk about, why don't you come up here and tell the rest of the class? No, no, Mr. Dan, I don't, I don't think we should. No, 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 you should, you should. As a matter of fact, I insist. Why don't the two of you come right up here and tell the rest of the class what's so important that you have to interrupt me. So, Tasha and I, we were discussing that Mr. Dan's birthday is coming up soon and we wanted to do something special for him. So I suggested that we get him a new whistle, but since it's his 40th birthday, maybe we should do something even more special. So, so we, we decided, decided to... Stop! Why don't you girls take a seat? You all have been great students. Um, go for an early break. I have to go to the toilet. To do toilet things. <laughs> there was a cloth one. Wait, how did you even know it's his birthday? Lucky guess. He kind of does look 40 though. Looks more like 50 to me. <laughs> let's go, let's go. No. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> no. 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 Time for the final showdown, boy. No. No. Not the fringe, not the fringe, no, not the fringe. No, no, not the air. No, no, it's actually scary. No, this is not how I thought it would be. You see, we are only trying to help. Tina, help. Now for the final touch. Okay, it's enough, it's enough. See, discipline, like all good students should be. If you didn't want this to happen, then you should have behaved. Isn't it cleverly? <laughs> now, come with us! Students, I hope this is a good lesson for you. There's no reason to meddle in the internal affairs of others. Just listen to our instructions and you will not be expelled like your friend here, cleverly. Students, get back to what you were doing. Nothing to see here. Thank you for everything you've done for me, Diana. You've 
Show me love like no one else has before. Don't worry about it. I have something that's yours. It's okay. Hold on to it for me. Cleverly, this is not the end, right? You can still meet outside of school. This is not goodbye, right? Well, the school has informed my parents of my expulsion and my mom has already made plans for me to head to boarding school, so... So... We won't get to meet each other again? Maybe one day. But for now, it's... It's goodbye. says that I should be in your group. You don't have to change yourself to impress others. I like you just the way you are. Placing Mr. Yaya's class because he's sick, and as you can see, I miss Naomi. So hey, yeah, make Ms. yourself feel Naomi, comfortable. Like damn Chu, you know her name backwards is I Moon. Excuse me, why are you talking? Who said you can talk? You come out now. Turn around and bend over. Okay, welcome back to school, guys. It's another new term, term two. Ah, huh? teachers and I are looking forward to work with you. For those in sports, CCA, and doing PE, please remember to drink up. Okay, water is very important. Singapore very hot, we all know. Okay, research has shown that if you don't drink enough water, you will faint. Two students faint last term. Two is too, too many. We want zero incidents this year. Ah, this term, we aim for zero. Very good, very good. Ah, this one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, this Malay boy. I like your hair. Very good, very good. Eh, try to be funny, is it? No, this is my natural hair color. Ah, natural, like my laugh time. <laughs> Can you please dye it black again? But sure. Hey, 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 hey. See me after school. Uh. Detention. Oh, you. Ah, good, good, good. Kiss the paper more. Kiss the paper more. Eh, hey, saliva. Digestive system. See, science is good for you. Hey, don't act Ang Mo la. Hey, but I am Ang Mo. Stop, only stop. See your cheap fans, so cheap. Sorry, you have to use the other door, it's not in use. Hey, you, you talk too much, you know. You know who I am? I... Huh? Tia Wu Bridge there. Okay, okay. I know it's a lot, but exams are coming, so I want it done by tomorrow. Understand? Allow it. Uh... Yes! Uh... <laughs> No. Anyway, just not here today, what? What the? Then I do all this for what? Waste my time, eh? Hey, 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 what's this? Using phone in my class. Come, give me, give me, give me. Oh. Okay, since today I'm very happy. No homework. Oi, 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 oi! Who say no homework? Yeah. Do, 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 do! Give the phone! Oh, I sell. Okay, for this next part, I need y'all to be in groups of two. We'll do think, pair, share. Okay, go. So, uh, so yeah. awesome that we're group partners. Come on, don't let them play. Don't let them play. We know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do pass la. Pass la. Pass la. We're flying colors. We're flying, 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 flying. So, are you going to do anything? You want to do this work? Where are you going? Hey, we have to finish this project. Hey, where are you going? Any questions? Yes. Ah, yes, Naomi? Yeah. Ram! One conversation at a time. Can you stop talking? <laughs> ah, yes, Naomi, what do you want to ask? Yeah. Ah, Haikat, uh, Ridon has been scoring a B average, so total about 80%. Ah, here's his results. B? Eh, what about B? B for Bagos? 
Baik seju hati mak. Ah, my son very smart. Hi Kong Kong. Ah, uh, Chen Hao been scoring a B average, so total about eighty percent. Ah, here's his results. Ni Jin kan na le yi ge B. Kong Kong doi ni tai si wang la. You no go home. Okay, follow my timing. Ah, three, two, one, go.